do another eBay junk lot, huh? Uh, not the greatest box ever, but uh, you see it quite a bit. People just cobble together whatever just to get it out the door. See that? A bit excessive boxing there for what it is. There's supposed to be two Retron 5s here. Together or something, which I don't really care about the boxes. So the box does have a curve to it. What the? Other than that, it is useless. <laughs> that is a useless box. Unless there's something missing out of there. I don't think so. Guessing there was some kind of internal structure to those boxes to hold all the miscellaneous crap. Oh my, that one's even got a UK. Is that UK? I think so. UK adapter on it. There's the Euro. HDMI, I believe that's uh, Australia. Looks like USB charging cord, but that's cut and that's cut. Not even the same styles. That's trash. Oh, maybe it was just a. Uh, cut in half because I forget what the names of those are. Micro USB and micro USB. Two controllers. From what I hear these are Wrap. They're Bluetooth wireless. Buttons feel kind of soft. Random cover. So we got an SD card slot on the back, HDMI, USB, and AC. And if I remember, 
they were sold as did not power on. Another thing I'm interested in is the uh, NES and SNES uh, cart slots. We're having problems with them, and I don't know if they were fixed on the black version because there was a gray version initially, I think. These all look perfectly fine. I mean, none of the pins are messed up or anything. And something else I remember reading about them is you had to hold the power button in to even get it to power on. So I'm actually kind of curious if they work fine. They just, you know, as usual, not tested correctly. When there are two AC adapters, I'll fling one away. <laughs> Definitely want to try to test the AC adapter. Let's see, it's a um, 5 volt, 2 amp output. So maybe you can run it off a of USB. I'm not sure. I'm really new to the Retron 5. I've been following it for, what has it been, three years, just off and on, and, you know, in the, in the, in the hardcore gaming community, it's kind of a joke, honestly, because it's just an emulator. None of those are US. None of my hands are US. I do. I mean, I know I have some 5 volt AC adapter around here somewhere. I just don't have the right ends for this specific one. Take a look around here. Well I couldn't find uh, US prongs for the AC adapter came with it. I only found one AC adapter. But I found I don't even know what this was for in my junk pile. I found one that's 5 volt. It's actually 5.1 volt 3 amp. And it looks like it's got the right tip on it. And let's see if we're actually getting DC volts out of it. 5.4. Perfect. Well, I held it for several seconds. I didn't get anything. So let's try. Smell something burn, burning or burnt already. So, at least I have something broken <laughs> to actually dig into and try to fix. All right, so I'd be shocked if it was only the two screws. Sometimes they hide them. Yeah, underneath the feet. No, I've never had one apart before. Seen some pictures of one being apart. It's 
look they are all, are all number one Phillips Well, all our power stuff is right back here. But honestly, nothing is obvious just yet. One of the other things I was really curious of is whether or not the connectors were easy to replace. Because we do have access to you know, DigiKey has NES ones. And the blinking light when our arcade works people are making new ones that could potentially be better than this one. I mean, obviously, we could just desolder the whole thing and replace it, but I don't know if the depth is right. Might be. It's pretty close. Get the holes in there for the screws. That'd be kind of cool. For you know, just for the ones that have bad pins on them or whatever but yeah I'm not actually seeing anything just super obvious yet on this little power board one of the unfortunate things here is the little components are not identified and some of the bigger chips they got a U6, U1, U2, U3 but the real tiny components in here there is nothing so if there's a fuse I'm not seeing it yet because it could just be it could look just like a resistor I've seen fuses that look exactly like a tiny resistor well I didn't get very far with these I kinda gave up in frustration but also because I had four more of them coming and I've already shot all that video too so I'm gonna end this one and say watch the other one with the uh, the four units a little bit more information there a little bit more to watch